turning off CPU boost should tank your performance, right? Wrong. On handhelds like the MSI Claw, it can actually make some games run better, longer, and actually your device cooler. But not always. In this video, I'm going to be testing both boosts off and on, side by side, using a couple of games. So let's break it down. So here's Cyberpunk, one of the most demanding games you can throw at any handheld. And what you're really seeing on the screen is both the boost on and off, FPS nearly being identical. The big difference is the power drawdown and the fan RPM running at a much aggressive speed. The conclusion, Cyberpunk is mostly GPU bound so the extra CPU boost actually doesn't really help. If anything it just stresses the system and makes it hotter. Now let's talk Tomb Raider, this is where it gets a bit more trickier. So boost off on the left, again again, performance is solid, especially in the wide open static scenes where the game leans towards more on the GPU. But now when you move to the benchmark, with the busier sections like the cave interiors where there's more interactions the CPU load kicks up this is probably where the boost on actually helps and shows its strength the CPU spikes and you can see the RPM going up So I made a mistake on the overlay, so it's not showing the FPS, but at the end of the benchmark you can see the FPS score. And ideally it just comes down to which do you prefer, the raw power or the longer battery life. Alright, now here's a curve called Elden Ring, which seems to be really sensitive to the CPU, especially in the open world. And by disabling the CPU boost, you really gain hit on the FPS. At 1200p, this is still extremely payable, getting constantly above 30 FPS. And with the lower power drawdown, we can expect longer game time. So where do you find the setting and how do you enable and disable boost? So if we do a quick search for edit power plan and we click on the advanced power settings. Now if you scroll down and you go to performance boost mode, there's an option for the battery plugged in and you can see you can enable and disable from there. If this option isn't available to you, to you follow the next steps to make it visible. So we're going to use the registry edit tool, open this file path link, so I will include this in the comments, but if you just follow the file path down, and when you get to the setting, you want it will probably be set to a 1, you want to enable it to a 2, and this will now make the boost settings available in your power plan. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and 
give me some feedback on if this has worked for any of your games or handhelds as well.